and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys, and today I'm going to be going over the best players to use the 93-94 overall power pass on. Now, ironically, with Series 4 coming out, this wasn't even the top power pass, so they did something pretty cool. They gave us two power passes, which they have done before, but they gave us two new power passes. They usually give us one repeat, and then one new one. So this time around, the 93-94 power pass isn't actually the max mutt level. It's like level 76, level 75, 77, in that range. We got an even better power pass, which is a power pass for a 95 overall card. Which is really cool, but we do not have any 95 overall cards really in the game yet, besides the Brandon Cooks Master, which I don't think you guys want to use that on. Although he's really good, that's probably more of a card you want to get with trophies. So, we kind of we can't really use that one just yet until some more stuff comes out into the game. So for the time being, we do have the 93 to 94. I'm going to go over the best cards to use it on. Now, I don't have a specific list, like, out of 10. I did, like, I think, like, 7 or 8. That's because, guys, honestly, if I had 10 guys to give you guys, it just wouldn't sound realistic. Because there's obviously some of the best options, some close options, some, like, honorable mentions. Now, now, I don't think there's 10 cards you legitimately could be in contention for the cards to use. Now, guys, before we get into the video, remember it is the 25 days of Poodmas. So all you gotta do to enter this giveaway is a few things. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment down below the secret word and your console. Once you do those three things, you're entered to win. Simple as that. Make sure you enter, boys. I will announce the giveaway winner probably in our 1030 Series 4 recap video today, so stay tuned for that. Now, let's get into the video. So, first card that I think that you want to be using... The 93 to 94 overall power pass is actually a guy that I have. Now, I'd love to have put him higher, but it's definitely tough to do considering the landscape of this game right now. And that is Barry Sanders. That's who I have at number eight, which is out of, I did it out of eight actually. Now, I love Barry Sanders. I think he's one of my favorite cards in the game, one of my favorite cards in history of Madden. But according to many people, they believe Eric Dickerson is better than him. And that seems to be the consensus. And I've come to a point where maybe he is, but I don't really think it's worth the coins to downgrade for me. But. Barry Sanders to me is still going to be one of the fastest running backs with some of the best excel, the best agility. He's going to be very, very agile. So he still has a use. He's still no, no running backs really is agile and can excel as fast as him. Chris Johnson is the closest comparison. But he's still got to be up there because he's Barry Sanders. Fully powered up in a power pass. So look just like this on the right. Great stats. And then with the right comes everything. He's still going to be a beastly running back. I still love having him. But I can only have him at about number eight. Actually, he's at number nine. I did this list out of nine. Although... I'm going to tell you guys, these are more honorable mentions. The, the, the four guys I'm going to name are more honorable mentions, and the top five are really like the guys that I think you've got to use this on no matter what. But I like to toss the honorable mentions in there because some people might have teams with the top five and they already have them, or certain cards they can't have. So it's always good to toss in there. Number eight, I'm going with Alan Page. Now, people say Mean Joe Green might be better, but I think Alan Page is better because Mean Joe Green is not nearly as athletic, which I think the athleticism on Alan Page makes the difference. He's 82 speed, 87 acceleration. That's great because defensive tackles, typically there's a few things. Defensive tackles either can't pass rush, and if they can't pass rush, they're slow, or if they're fast, they can't pass rush, or they can't run stuff. He can do everything. Powered up and chemmed up, he's going to have above 90 block shedding, above 90 finesse move, close to 90 power move, like an 83 speed, like almost a 90 excel with the right chems, above 90 tackle, above 90 player. So he's going to be able to pass rush, and when he does pass rush, he can easily chase down the quarterback. And remember, the middle pressure at the defensive tackle is the quickest way to the quarterback. So if they get that initial pass rush and he's that fast, he's either going to get a throw under pressure, he's going to force a pressure throw, or he's going to sack him or force a throw away. I think he's a great option. Now next on the list is a wide receiver who's not really a wide receiver, but that's what it, tell, that's what it calls by at least. Devin Hester. Now, I don't think he's a top five guy, but he can get human joystick and he, I think he's the only card who can do so. So for that reason, I feel like you have to have him on this list. Now, I used Hester. Here's the issue with Hester. He's a kick return and punt return guy only. Maybe a screen guy, maybe a wildcat guy, but I don't play like that. In a regular game, I don't like to play like that. I typically play my regular play style, which doesn't include him. My play style includes crisp route running. And this is the issue. You might say, oh, just throw him on a slant or throw him on a drag. Trust me, like you don't have to worry about route running. That still includes the short route running, and I promise you can feel it. He almost feels sluggish off the line. Like he feels very slow. If he gets pressed in the slightest bit, the whole play is over. He has no beat press. He has no route running. So any if there's like a guy pressed up on him or anyone near him, they can push him off his route, throw him off. He can't run around people. Trust me, you can feel how off he is when you play with him. He's more of a wildcat guy. He's more of a special guy to play certain. He's a gadget player. But he still has human joysticks. So when he does have the ball, he is very dangerous. But it can really throw off a lot. I like consistency drives, and he can really throw that off with the way he plays. That's kind of just my issue with him. Next is going to be 
Reggie White. Reggie White is probably the best pass rusher in Madden right now. Powered up and chemed up, he's going to have above 80 speed, close to 90 excel. Close to like 97 block shot, close to 97 power move, above 90 finesse move, like 94, 95 play rec, 92 tackle, like 96 strength. Best pass rusher in the game. I don't have to even debate that. He's at number six because I have a few other guys that I like a little bit ahead of him, but he's definitely, he's not the flashiest guy, but he's definitely up there for one of the top guys. Next on the list, he's actually one of the only 93 overalls that are probably on this list because typically I don't like to go with the low overall cards because from a coin standpoint, it just makes more sense to go this way. And that is going to be Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson, come on. You got to have him on this list. You have to have him on this list. He's too good to not have him on this list. Powered up and chemmed up, as you guys can see on the right. You can have a 93 speed, 89 throw power, 90 short accuracy, 86 medium accuracy, 87 deep accuracy, 93 throw under pressure, 92 throw on the run, and 91 play action. Now, put on my team with all my cams and everything. He's going to have like a 94 speed, above like a 92 throw power, close to, I think, an 89 mid range, and 90 deep accuracy. With everything go deep and everything maxed out, he does hit almost every passing threshold besides medium accuracy by like two. But everything else is fine. He just doesn't have medium accuracy. But you combine that with like a 94 speed. And this card's a glitch. I'm telling you, I love this card. He has great break sack, great throw on the run, great throw under pressure. You can do everything. I really do love this Lamar Jackson card. I think he's in the top five. I think right now he's the best quarterback. The only quarterback, in my opinion, that would knock him out would be like a Patrick Mahomes with the skate artist. That might inevitably knock him out. But for the time being, I'm rocking with Lamar Jackson. I think I'll probably rock with him most of the year. You know, he's like that special card in real life that you kind of want in the game at all times because you get to watch him every Sunday and he's crazy. Now, for the next card, a guy that I actually never chose, but apparently he's the best running back in the game. That's Eric Dickerson. Now, Eric Dickerson, similar to Barry Sanders speed-wise, where he differs in acceleration, but you do get that back in trucking. He's less agile. He's less, he has less break tackle, less elusiveness. But first off, he has way better carry. He is carrying better by like seven. That's big because Barry Sanders fumbles a lot. So Kem Dub and Powered Up all the way. Eric Dickerson has like a 98 cat and 98 carrying. So that's the first huge thing. Second, speed's the same. Third, he has above 90 trucking, so he can't truck people. And fourth is going to be the stiff arm, which I believe is probably close to 90 also. Let's go check that out. 91 stiff arm. So he can he's a power back with speed. And not to mention, he starts off with NFL 100 freight train, which is the big difference here. Because that NFL 100 freight train does actually mean that he can't be tackled on like the first tackle pretty much so the only way he could lose that ability is by being tackled in the backfield but typically when you get tackled in the backfield there's one guy so freight train always breaks it not to mention if you do like a stretch and that one guy beats you to the edge he just breaks the tackle and he's fast enough to get right back up and run so eric dickerson glitchy probably better than barry sanders although i love myself some barry eric dickerson might actually be the better option next on the list is a guy that i gotta pick up soon i'm actually using my nfl 100 free player on him at some point ronnie lott Guys, Ronnie Lott, there's no debate. Let's compare him to Brian Dawkins, who I formerly crowned the best free safety in Madden. He's faster than him. And this isn't even Ronnie Lott powered up. Powered up, he's going to be plus three speed. He's going to have like plus seven excel. Plus six tackle, or plus five tackle when all said and done. Same exact play rec. Plus two pursuit. Plus like eight man coverage. Plus three zone. And plus four hit power. So, same height. He's going to be faster, way better, way faster, way better excel, way better tackle, way better man, way better hit power. Everything that made Brian Dawkins special, Ronnie Lott, like, like times two. That's exactly what it is. I don't really have to debate this much more. He's even decent in the run, in the run game and stuff. Great, great safety. He's pretty much Brian Dawkins, like powered up even more. That's exactly how I see him. Next is a guy that I got to pick up pretty soon. Lawrence Taylor. Guys, there's no debate. This card from his last card, he's going to have powered up and kept up probably a 90 speed. Like a 93 excel, above 90 strength, above 90 tackle, above 90 play rec, above 90 block shot, above 90 power move, above 90 fast move. Tell me a guy who has a bow who's gonna have 90 speed, above 90 excel, that can also pass rush like one of the greatest pass rushers, run stuff like one of the greatest run stuffers, and has six foot three height that can even pick a ball off if he needs to. And he has above 90 speed. Card's crazy. Card's crazy good. Don't really have to talk about this card much more, quite honestly. I think all around Lawrence Taylor is one of the best options that you can pick up. And with this power pass in general and the beauty about this power pass is you also want to get a guy that's long term right not just a guy like let's say they drop Devin Hester see I didn't put Devin Hester in the beginning because I feel like Devin Hester is a now guy I don't see him in a month still being like oh the craziest card in Madden now Lawrence Taylor is a guy that in a month he might not be the craziest card but you can expect the following month he'll probably get a card and you can upgrade him again I don't know if Devin Hester will get many more cards so that is why the top guys for me are guys that are going to be getting upgrades all year they're going to be overpowered cards throughout the year and there's no changing that you won't want to even take that power pass off and for the final guy number one on my list is Deion Sanders I love myself some Deion 
He's like a Devin Hester. He plays off. He could play offense, but more so more like he could play punt return and kick return. And powered up and chemmed up, this Deion Sanders is going to have, with sprinter and everything, you can get him up to about a 98 speed with like 97 excel, 96 excel because he does lose some with sprinter. Like 97, 98 agility. I use shaker. So for me, he'll actually get up to like a 97 speed with like a 97, 98 excel with 97 agility, 94 jumping, like 94 play rec, 97 man coverage, 94 zone coverage. And above 80, like 82 press. This car's gonna be a beast. He's gonna be so athletic. Him and Nick are gonna be locking down sides of the field. I'm really excited to get this Dion. I'll probably end up using my power pass on Dion Sanders. I'll probably end up buying Lawrence Taylor, and I'll probably end up using my free NFL 100 player on Ronnie Lot. So my top three is probably exactly who I plan to take from all of these cards here. But there has to be honorable mentions because you might already have Dion, you might already have Lawrence, you might already have Lot, or you're rocking with a theme team, so you're hoping I had a guy in there that was a theme team eligible guy. It all really depends, guys. But I hope you guys did enjoy. That is my 93 to 94 overall power pass list. Hope this helps you guys. Should be, should be seeing this video later today, more than likely towards the end of this day, probably like around like 6 o'clock, because I do have a lot of other videos to make regarding Series 4. Hopefully this helps you guys. Hopefully you guys see this for weeks to come. This helps you guys out with all your power pass needs. Get this done as quickly as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to enter the 25 Days of Food Mist. All you gotta do is end to enter is subscribe. Comment down below the secret word and your console and like the video once you do those three things you're entered to win good luck i'm out see you guys next video peace